come on make sure to say hello i'm Teresa with Teresa renee art and i'm the owner of decoupage queen and th decor and of course Teresa renee art crafty mix media tuesdays and thursdays although i was not here this past tuesday you might have noticed you might not have um, but i'm back uh, for the thursday edition and um we're gonna try I think I know what I want to do, you guys. I, I sort of put it together. Um, I've got a couple of uh, couple of ideas. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Cindy. How are you guys doing? I forgot to grab my project. Um, so I went live on a private group on Tuesday. I was invited to, um, to teach for um, Tammy Holes, who is traveling. And so I was in her private group, her paid membership society, teaching a, uh, a little session, which is why I was not with you. But I am going to show you the project that I did over there. Hopefully you guys like it. Kathy, how are you? How are you? I got two Kathys on tonight. Um, and I have a Facebook user. I don't know who my Facebook user is, but I'm going to try to find out. So anyway, you guys having a great week so far? I sure hope so. Um, I am, it has been, um, it's busy. It's been a busy week, uh, but we're hanging in there and let's see, we're hanging in there. We're doing great. So, um, what is everybody working on this week? What kind of projects are you guys doing? I'm always curious to know what, um, what sort of things you guys are working on. So let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Got a Facebook user. Usually that shows up on my um, uh, da, 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 Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Julie. How are you? Uh, let's see. Kimberly. Hello, Kimberly. Oh, Aracellus. It's Aracellus. Hello, Aracellus. Hello. Um, I'm going to be right back. I want to show you guys what I did on Tuesday. Uh, it's really cool. Um, Tuesday, I made another one of these. This is like a little bird plaque. I'll give you a closer view when I put the camera down, but um, I made another one of those. And um, believe it or not, one of the ladies that was watching, and she might jump on, Patricia Cassida, actually... Uh, actually bought this before I even finished it. So it's already sold, um, which I love because then, you know, I would, I, you know, and I'm just going to say this out loud. Like I would love to sell my pieces before um, I have to auction them. <laughs> like, you know, cause auctions, you guys are a lot of work. Um, for those of you who had done them, you know, it's a lot of work. Um, and it's like your three days worth of packing and, you know, coordinating and stuff like that. So I'd much rather do it one at a time. I'm going to turn my camera down and give you a closer view of this. And we'll talk about what I did. I'm not going to, this is probably the last time I'm going to do this project because I did another one very similar to it. Uh, that's, that is also now sold. Um, but I'm going to talk about what I did because I do think it's worth going over. Um, why is my let's see you guys see this okay my, i think my camera is a little bit wonky hold on one second let me fix that 
And let's see if I can come up just a little bit. Okay, so let me see if I can zoom in. So what I did was um, first, I this is just a, um, a wood blank from, I know, I, well, uh, there's an app, Amanda, the Comment Soul app um, that you can do that stuff with. And I'm thinking about testing it out because I also have a lot of uh, some older like T, uh, Tim Holtz inventory stamps and stuff that I need to get rid of that I want to just do like a live sale on. So I was thinking about doing that. But anyway, so the first thing I did, this is a wood plank from Michael's. And I think I've told you guys this before, but I buy these. In fact, I have a, a box that I haven't even opened. I buy these in bulk from Michael's. And I love these surfaces because they're like, they're, they've got, they're just so sturdy for all the mixed media gluing and wet media that we use. Um, so I buy these in bulk from Michael's. They're, this one is 8 by 12 And... What I did was I put uh, the brick wall, the decoupage queen brick wall stencil down. I used modeling paste. And then I did, um, these are from Michaels. Yeah, michaels.com. And if you buy them in bulk, you can get them for like four bucks a piece. Um, and so, that, so then I did the expand paste all along the side. I did the expand paste, um, and then I casted all these um, awesome Finnevere molds. You guys, I'm, I'm such a sucker for molds. Uh, so this is like the light bulbs one. I don't sell these. We have retailers that do, though. Um, these are the skulls from a couple years ago. This is that Clockwork Sparrows mold. Uh, this is some gears from several years ago and then apothecary bottles. I actually didn't use that one. I did on my last one, but not this one. So I, ca I casted all those with black resin and then I put them on. Uh, and then on this guy, this is the LaBlanche um, window. So it's, I don't know the number, um, but it's this window. Um, I think that's what it's called. It's just called window, I think. Um, so it's this one. And I put the, this time I used the little uh, four pack, the Halloween image. Last time I had used the upper left corner of Haunted Places. Um, and then we did the rust effect paint kit. And we made it rusty. Um, and then I put a little bit of wax and then I put some moss paste. Okay. And then after it was done, cause a lot of questions I get a good, a question that I get often about mixed media is how do I seal it? And so I wanted to show you this. This is what I used to seal it. This is varnish mist and basically uh, I sprayed the entire piece with varnish mist, including the moss paste. You don't have to seal moss paste, guys, but I did. I used the varnish mist, and I wanted to show you that um, it didn't have a negative effect on my moss paste. Because a lot of times we say um, if you seal your moss paste that it's going to lose its, like, mossiness well it didn't um so this is a good product for mixed media because it's just going to spray evenly right over your surface it doesn't really leave a shine and then it's like an extra layer of protection without losing all the grunginess so tomorrow this piece goes to live with patricia thank you patricia for buying it and uh tonight we're going to work on I think we're going to do, so I got a couple pieces from Goodwill. Um, 
let me show you first the pieces. I got this box. So I am always looking for um, larger scale boxes. Um, awesome cat. That's great. Yeah, so I'm always looking for larger scale boxes that will fit like A3 size prints. So I found this. This is like a um, 13 and a half inch by uh, 11 inch box. I mean, it's it's perfect size for A3 paper. We're going to lose a little bit of the A3 paper. Um, but, you know, I, I'm always searching for larger. So I found one. And it was at the Goodwill, it was like uh, $3 or something like that. So that's 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 one thing we could do. Um, I also found, I'm always looking for like, you know, larger metal trays. So uh, this is a tray that I found. It doesn't have any handles. This was $4 at Goodwill. Um, and then the other piece, um, I did find another wine box, you guys. I found a double wine box. And this is definitely going to be a future project, the um, 7th Avenue or the Rainy Day paper on this wine box because I literally cannot get enough of this image. Um, so this is my dump, my double wine box this time. Hi, Mary. Um, and then next find, uh, I have is this, um, <laughs> I don't have enough room for all my stuff here. Uh, next one I had was this tray look at the, look at this tray the scale of this tray this is um like 16 inches by 16 inches you guys and so like you could decoupage you could put molds and then you can pour resin inside um i got this at goodwill for three dollars uh this wood tray so this one has a ton of potential I can even do, um, I have like some of those um, cast iron handles that I can put on here. I love this tray. So yes, I did hit the resale jackpot pot. Uh, and then I got one more, which um, this one needs too much prep work to deal with tonight. Um, here's another box that I got that's really quite large and it's deep it's very deep but it's got <coughs> excuse me it's got this paper that's peeling off uh, and it's got it needs a hinge replacement here because this isn't working anymore so this one needs a little bit of TLC I got to peel off some paper and do some sanding um, so this is not, we're not going to deal with this tonight, but the thing that the reason normally I would have passed on this box. Okay. Um, but the reason that I picked this box up was because, um, it opens portrait. So like it's, it opens this way. So if I wanted to use my rainy day or seventh Avenue on this box with an A3 size, at, you know, something with a vertical orientation, um, th this would work great for that. So um, for tonight, I'm going to limit the two options of what we work on. I'm going to limit it to two options, okay? So here's your first option. This is option one. It's this box with Rochelle. That's option one. Um, and then option two is going to be this tray with either um, uh, Botticelli's Venus or Botticelli's uh, Primavera. It, it's, this tray is it's going to be one or the other. So first, let's choose. Do you want the option one, the box, or option two? the tray you guys can pick this is viewers choice tonight 
Uh, option one is the box. Option two is the tray. Um, so that's jewelry boxes. Yeah. Yeah. When I saw, well, so I saw the wine box. Um, we have three votes for box, two votes for tray, four votes for bo box. Uh, okay. We're going to do the, yep. All right. So that's it. We're going to do the box. Um, I actually got the wine box and I, the reason why I got it was because it was the double. Uh, I got that. So my family and I went hiking up at Amicalola Falls in the North Georgia mountains, um, a couple weekends ago. And we went to a, an antique store up there. And you know what? It's so funny because I actually saw one of the vendors. This, this just gets me so excited. Um, one of the vendors who is not one of our retailers, I did not recognize the vendor's name, but she actually had some upcycled pieces with some of our papers on it. And I was just giddy with excitement. You guys, like I get so giddy when I see that stuff out in the, out in the wild, I call it, you know, especially if I don't know the person and I'm not expecting it. Um, so anyway, I just thought that was really cool stuff. Um, but the booth, like a couple, couple booths down from hers had that double wine box and I had to have it. It really is, you know, it's, it is really cool when that happens. I mean, um, it's starting to happen more frequently, particularly, and I, you know, I can't pass up antique malls. Um, so I go, I go in, I always have to buy something, you know, cause I love shopping small. Um, and I remember, you know, I don't have, um, you know, I have a, I do have a limited booth space now where my husband and I sell some older artwork and furniture, but I don't sell my handmade items there anymore. Um, but I remember, you know, I remember that feeling of making those sales. And so always try to support all those booth owners and antique markets when I can. Thank you, Ronnie. Well, I hope that people are using them. Uh, I hope that some of your, um, other shop partners are using them and upcycling pieces with them and then selling those pieces in their booth spaces. That's why I started this, you know, was, um, was really to give independent creators uh, a tool, just another tool, right. That they can use for making, making things, little things to sell, you know? All right. So my bonding primer doesn't want to open. Let me get my acrylic primer. Uh, I'll have to get my husband to open that bonding primer. Because I don't follow my own advice of putting plastic down ahead of time. Thank you guys for, for um, passing along all the goodness. All right, so we're going to prime this. I don't know how far we'll get because there is a lot of priming that needs to be done. Probably two coats. And I haven't done a single thing to this one. But I have big plans for this box. Like, I do want it to be kind of special. Um, I went over to my friend um, Danny at Four Creative Seasons. She sells Stamperia. And I have had my eyeballs on a Stamperia mold that happens to be a sunflower. So I went over to her shop. And I bought that sunflower mold because I'm thinking that it needs to come on here. Um, we might be able to somehow fit my sunflower stencil, maybe on the back, maybe on the bottom uh, or along the side or something. So this whole thing is going to be a little tribute to Rochelle and our fall sunflower uh, collection because I'm not quite ready to jump 
into Christmas yet, you guys. Um, I'm still working on fall, right? Yeah, I'll show it to you. Uh, and Danny over at um, Four Creative Seasons has this, and I think Cindy, Cindy, let us know if you have this too. You may have it. If so, feel free to drop your link to that in the comments uh, as well. Uh, I know several of our retailers um, are quite invested in the Stamperia line. And interestingly enough, um, this past release of theirs, they also had a ton of sunflowers. So I guess this was the, for all of us creatives, this was the year of the sunflower. Now, uh, I just want to point out, we did not, you know, there are some similarities in that collection, but we did not copy them. We, ours were completely independent of, of theirs, just to make that record clear. Also, good, 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 Cindy. I'm glad that, that you have it as well. It's a, it is a good mold. And this looks like it's one of those high quality um, silicone molds. Like a lot of times some of their molds are some of those, um, like plasticky ones, which I do, I use, but I don't love. Uh, so these are good ones. I do need a Pampered Chef jar opener. It's funny you mentioned that because it's, it is actually quite possible that I have one, Ronnie, but I would have no idea where to find it. Um, I, we do have the journal kit. Yes. So uh, retailers, if you guys have the Sunflower Ephemera Journal Kit, Julie would like to find that. So if you have it, let Julie know. Uh, but yes, we, do, we, we did offer that and we do have many left. Uh, and it is a fantastic kit to help get you started um, with journaling it's not a it's not going to create a complete journal but it will certainly give you elements that you can build from i just got primer on my shirt so let me just spray that before it starts to set okay so um, let me, I think that looks okay at the moment. I'm going to dry. Actually, let me come over here and do this side. So my daughter's done with volleyball. You guys, we are finished with volleyball. We do have practices, but she's done the last of her games for the season. Um, so we do have, uh, Kat, you can drop your link if you have it for the, um, if you're talking about the um, sunflower ephemera kit, feel free. And Rochelle, if you've got Rochelle in stock, acrylic primer, of course, all that stuff, you guys. So if you're one of our retailers watching and you have all this stuff, then by all means, um, our friends would love to know where to find them. All right, so I have a Goodwill tag on the back that um, I'm not going to mess with at the moment. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I'm going to hit this with a dryer. And then we're going to do probably another coat of, um, do another coat. Mm -hmm. 
This is a little bit on the slick side, so bonding primer would have been better, uh, but the acrylic primer is going to work just fine. No worries. Um, you guys, so I guess I can share this. You may have seen, if you're following the Pentart page, um, go take a look at their page. There's a little bit of teasers on there about some new products that are coming in. So on Tuesday, um, I feel very lucky. I feel very lucky to have been asked to do the English uh, reveal. This will be the first time that the public sees them. I think they might be doing it in Hungarian first, but I will be doing the English reveal of um, the new Pentart lineup. You guys, I'm trying to count. I'm like working on counting them right now. Um, something like 20, eight, 18, 20, something like that, new products that they have coming in. Um, and I have already submitted my pre-order for them. But yeah, I feel very, very honored to have been asked to present them in English for the first time for both the European and the U.S. audiences. Um, so that that's happening on Tuesday at noon over on the Pentart page. And then um, I'll also share it here on my page as well. And uh, you guys can get to see all that amazing goodness. I've been sworn to secrecy, so that's all I can say. <laughs> that is all I can say until Tuesday, but you'll have to tune in. And then of course, for my retailers, um, I'll be sharing details about uh, when those will be arriving in the USA. I think they'll be on their way by next week, but I'm not 100% positive. I did make sure that um, I was going to be able to get them very, very soon after the public release. Oh, Because this stuff, the way it always happens is that um, they show it, that nobody has it, you know? So, anyway... Uh, let me dry this one more time.
Okay. All right. So let me just do a little bit of sanding just to smooth a couple little bumps. You guys, mm, that should be pretty good. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and get Rochelle down. Uh, we'll get her down um, and figure out what we're doing there. I think it needs to be, we definitely want these words up here. I'm not going to have to really do any blending. Uh, I want the word La Rochelle, but... Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get it on both sides, you guys. So I'm going to have to pick. I think it's probably more important on the left side. It's slightly, slightly too short to go. So let's get this on. Um, I'm going to just sort of curve this around. And I'm debating how I want to do this. I think what I want to do... Um, I think I want to go ahead and decoupage the whole thing on and then I'm just going to let it dry and sand it. It's going to give me a much cleaner edge um, for this box, which I think is important. Yay, Julie. Yay. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're going to love it. It's a great one. And, um, you know, it's been such a great addition to our line to be able to support um, people who journal, uh, a lot of people don't realize how versatile rice paper is for journaling as well. And so when you, when you combine that kit and our scrapbook papers and our rice papers, um, you really have so much good stuff that you can do journaling with. So we just wanted to show the world like, hey guys, <laughs> you can journal with our products. Uh, and we wanted to create something really special and unique um, for uh, for people who are um, learning, you know, or actively involved in learning how to do that. Um, so I've used that kit myself twice now. It, both times it's come out completely differently. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you know, you don't have to follow any sort of formula. Do your own thing. Just have fun. And um, that's the important thing. So, uh, Julie, did you see um, uh, the other day? Uh, well, let's see. I guess it was last Wednesday. Not this past, not yesterday, but uh, last Wednesday that I did um, a live on the Decoupage Queen page using the journal kit did you see that where we actually built one from scratch so if you didn't go back and watch that replay because that's going to show you how to build a journal completely from scratch so we did that on a live last week um and thank you thank you for shopping with one of our retailers too i know they appreciate the support. Okay, so let's go this way. Um, let's go this way. Yeah, and uh, did you see um, Michelle's Amanda Michelle Bell creations? She she finished hers using the kit too. I think she actually bought the kit from you. Um, so I've seen it now. I've seen it being used a couple times. I need to see some more though. So I want to see those creations when you make them. I definitely want to see what, how people are using it. Um, to me, that is so, so exciting when I get to see, especially like for a new product, like the first time I saw people using our stencils, it just freaked out, you know? I don't know if I shared this, but, you know, back in the year 2000, when we first started doing this, um, I think it was like, I think it was a vet. It was, I don't know, it was pretty crazy, but it was like the first time that I had seen someone else besides myself 
do a project with our paper. Uh, and I think, um, uh, well, and Kat, Kat, you did one too. When you did uh, the Gre Grecian goddess with the large format paper, y'all, I mean, there's nothing that can describe that feeling, but um, like literal tears, <laughs> you know, I don't cry anymore when I see new, you know, stuff, but I do feel an overwhelming sense of joy and pride. Um, so thank you guys for that. Okay. Yeah. Go back and, um, Julie, go back for sure and watch that because I did it really as that's like the the premier demo for how to use that journal kit and like an idea for how to create a journal from scratch so go back and watch that one for sure okay so let me get this on here we're gonna let that dry um off camera what i'm going to do is um i'm going to finish priming this off camera and then I'm going to, um, oop, you know what? I got an air bubble. That is, that's not good. I got an air bubble, you guys. Let me get that up. I got an air bubble right there. Um, all right, let me put that back down. There we go. Fixed. Um, I lost my train of thought. My air bubble stopped my, it interrupted my concentration. Uh, what was I saying? <sighs> I can't remember what I was saying. Okay, well, Amanda, when you do it, I need to see it when it's done, okay? I need to see it um, for sure. Okay, let's see. So, uh, also, I wanted to say, if you missed um, my auction last weekend, I do have three of the pieces that were in the auction are still available. Um, this Mixed Media Sea Lady, which I can't believe that one didn't sell. Um, the Mermaid Box, again, I can't believe that one didn't sell. The um, Turquoise and pink box which you know it was a, it's a great box and i love it but that one i'm not not quite as surprised about um so if you're interested in any of those three pieces definitely let me know i will let you have them for the um whatever the opening bid amount was so just let me know for sure um all right so let me whatchamacallit yeah there's there's uh colleen colleen have you played with the journal did you get the journal kit have you played with it yet i could see you journaling not mike so much but i could see you doing it the dollars <laughs> It would have to be in U.S. dollars. It was in the um, art healing auctions, art healing art auctions page, but it wasn't live, Julie. It was just uh, uh, an album with the pictures, and then you bid on the bid on them from the pictures. But um, no, I did. I actually did better than I thought I was going to on it because mixed media was entirely new to that audience. Um, so I sold seven out of the 10 pieces and then I actually sold two more because like one lady really wanted my Halloween box. Um, and then she just asked me, you know, cause she'd missed it. So she asked me if I had any other Halloween pieces. So um, I was able to sell her two other Halloween pieces. So it worked out great. 
and it was a very good show. I met lots of lovely new artists. I actually bid on a piece and won. Um, Stephanie Gerace had these beautiful little orange kitty cats. So I bid on those and I won those. Um, I love supporting my fellow artists too. And that is actually going to be a Christmas gift for my stepdaughter who has two orange cats. Actually, sorry, now she only has one. She just lost one of her little orange cats. Um, so this is going to be a little tribute memory piece for her little orange kitty cat. Oh. I know it really is that's the Julie that's the mixed media sea lady that is still available and the um, opening bid on that one was 65 so if you would like that one send me um, send me a message and we can certainly make that happen. And I do want to be, um, uh, no problem, Kathy, we'll see you next time. I do want to do a series of those. Like I'd love to do um, like a little mixed media piece for fall, kind of in the same vein. Um, I think a winter one would be fun. So I am planning to to do work through a series of those. Um, it would be great if I could do nothing but art all day. I think that would be amazing. And then I would have all these all this time to just create. But the real world calls. We have orders to fulfill. Kids to run around. Okay. Shipments to receive. I know. That's why I treasure this time because like some some weeks, you guys, literally some weeks, this is the only time that I get to um, to work on anything. So I really look forward to this time. And that's why I started doing it live because I was like, you know, I might as well, if I'm going to be, you know, dedicating at least two hours of crafting a week, I might as well um, do it with some friends. So... So yeah, so don't uh, don't be like me and sandpaper prematurely before you're all the way dry because this is what happens. Your rice paper will tear a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna um, we're, we'll be able to fix that. It's not a not a big deal. Yep, designs to create exactly, which I'm I can honestly say. So last week, so Amanda, I don't know if you heard this story, um, and I can't say too much about it, you guys, because Terry will kill me. But we we are currently taking pre-orders for our Christmas release with our retailers. Uh, the Christmas release is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Um, but I can't say when or what or anything like that. But what I can say is that I had scheduled that live for one o'clock. Um, I stayed up almost all night the night before because I wasn't finished with it when I scheduled the live reveal. 
and you know i had the concepts and i had the rough you know i had the idea i knew what i what it was going to be i just hadn't actually done the work and or you know some of the work i mean i didn't i probably did 90 percent of it you guys um so i was up late the night before and then got up early saturday morning and literally finished it the reveal for the retailers was at one o'clock i finished it literally at uh 12 30. um <laughs> and then i showed it to everybody turned on the listings and then i sl i went to bed <laughs> i went to bed i was done like it takes i mean that kind of creative marathon just takes so much um energy you know it's like just i was completely depleted uh and it's taken me now a few days um to recover quite frankly so mara's been trying to call me and i'm like um, not taking her phone calls, <laughs> like I'm in my bat cave, uh, recuperating. And so that's life. That's my life. Well, did you get to see the replay, Amanda? I hope you did. Hi, Callie. How are you? Hi, Sharon. Hello from South Africa. What time is it in South Africa? It is uh, 6.17 here in Atlanta, Georgia, 6.17 p.m. So as soon as I'm done here, I will hop off and make some dinner. I might start working on some spring designs. Who knows? Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Um, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So the sandpaper gives it a nice clean edge. I'm using a 220 grit. Uh, that's a nice clean edge. Um, beautifully flush. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to sit on that and let that, um, uh, get fully dry, um, off camera. The next few days, um, I will be working on priming this. I think what we're going to do is stripes, you guys. So I'm going to do stripes. Um, Ronnie, uh, are, where are you watching from? Are you on the Decapage and Mixed Media Inspirations group? I think most people are probably watching from my page, which is at Teresa Renee Art. So it's either people are um watching either from uh the decoupage and mixed media inspirations group or teresa renee art um most of the time when i go live ronnie everybody's watching at teresa renee art i have very few who watch on youtube okay so you guys that's it for tonight just a simple clean uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a lot like I've got I, I'm gonna do some molds like along the bottom I want to put this sunflower mold um, it's not I don't want it to look tacky I want it to look elegant um, but we are going to really make it nice and special um, I'm not sure because this is like a fabric interior and it actually looks pretty decent so I'm not sure that I'm gonna do anything on the inside other than maybe um, some wax around the edges here. So I, I'm going to leave the inside alone. I do need to do the, the bottom. Uh, the bottom has that same, you know, ugly thing. So I'll, I'll work on some primer and stuff off camera. Um, and then next week we'll come back on Tuesday. We'll work on this a little bit more beginning on Tuesday. Um, probably finish on Thursday. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for being here and I will see you again soon. Have a great one. Thank you, Lori. Thanks for that. All right. Take care. Bye-bye, you guys.